Hey everybody, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Just Josh Draws. We're going to be doing our weekly live stream for drawing. As always, I am. it's my pleasure to announce my best friend and the guy that makes all this possible, John. Say hi to everybody. Hello. <laughs> That's how he talks in real life. Hello. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It's hello. So deeper than <laughs> polar opposites on the voice picture. Uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's me. Uh, yeah. So I um, really appreciate everybody tuning in today. Um, like we've been posting for the last few days, we are going to be continuing our three part series um, for Overwatch crossovers. So last <laughs> week we actually did Diva, and that one went pretty well. Um, there was some stuff I would tweak about it, and one of the biggest things we talked about was the fact that because I did it traditionally and it was a it was a live design on the fly, I didn't get to do things the way I would have wanted to, and I couldn't have fixed anything as if I did a digital stream. So in this case, we've been wanting to test it out anyway. So today, as you can see, we're doing a digital drawing stream. I'm going to be using Clip Studio Paint, which is my tool of choice for doing drawing um, on the computer, uh, and we're going to be trying to go with the next character and we did have a chance to, to put a poll up ahead of time with as many overwatch characters as possible um, i think i missed junkrat and um all the robots i took out because they're a little bit harder to combine with kingdom Hearts style um so that people could vote on every character give them a chance and see which ones ended up turning up the winner now john has gone ahead and dropped the link for the voting uh, so we do have time for a few more few more minutes to go ahead and try and get as many votes as possible. Let's see if you guys, if, if this is for sure going to be who we decide to work with. Because right now, Tracer's in the lead with a close second um, being Mercy, then Genji, and then Turbjorn. So, you know, if you guys want to go ahead and feel free to vote, we'll go ahead and wait a few minutes before we get started on the next stream. Um <clears throat> for the drawings but right now that's the results i don't know <laughs> i have a limited view of what's happening on my side so i never know what all the stuff john's doing on his end and is right now he's i hear him furiously clicking on the other side I, i'm typing <laughs> typing and jumping between screens yeah that's, that's the magic that goes into uh <laughs> and i just sit here until it's time to draw things I just see here. I just draw. That's my, you know. And draw. Not for long. I want to do other stuff too. But uh, for now, I'm just going to draw. Like, oh my God. <laughs> How are we doing? Um, we're, we're doing. Do we have anybody here? I'm working on that. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Just just hi. Hi. Oh, wait. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Details. Hey to you, everyone. How do you share this? I hate the mobile app. Mm. Let's just share this. Post, share post now. Yeah. So yeah, we are uh, we're drawing on a computer. So it's not really drawing. It's it's computer mousing. Did you just say that me drawing on the computer is not really drawing? Well, it it is. It is. <laughs> It's, what it's, are you talking <laughs> Hello, everyone joining. Just to let you all know, we are doing Overwatch mixed with Kingdom Hearts. Here's a link if you want to vote for the, you know, couple more minutes here of what we should do because we need help figuring out what to do with like, our own lives. <laughs> we need help. Maybe not entirely just for the live stream. <laughs> no. Just for everything. Yeah. So, so let's see. I made my brother watch the Overwatch um, short films. Have you watched those, John? Mm. All right, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even play that much. Like, I've only played Overwatch a few times. I actually am now getting the game because I'm going to be playing it. But... Um, I made my brother watch the short films, and dude, Bl Blizzard cinematics are just so good. I like if they make a full length feature film, I would go. Th I would go see it. Yeah, so awesome. And my favorite, of course, is Genji and Hanzo's because I'm a sucker for ninjas in general. Just mm. ninja anything, you know. And then their storyline is really cool. The way they did it. I also like um, Reinhardt's short story. 
I don't know who's I know Maze just came out so if you guys comment below which short film of Blizzard is your favorite um, but yeah just seeing them both fight and he summons the dragon and that's what his brother realizes it's him the Shamada dragon <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know what they're yelling exactly because they both yell something different in Japanese. <laughs> but if we do the voiceover challenge that I had in mind, <laughs> my friend Mercedes was like, okay, I got to learn more video game voices. So I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I've never tried. So maybe I'll try and do Genji's voice and then uh, just yell stuff in Japanese. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to give a few more minutes here to see if anybody else wants to vote before we start drawing. Yep. So, so I know right now, guys, it's a little it's slow Tracer right this very second. Annoying. So figure I'd just entertain you all with some Genji drawing while we're waiting. Because um, Genji's the bet. I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry. There you go. And for everyone watching, if you uh, want to share this video out and get some more people in the uh, video, that would be great. Don't have to, but it would be nice. <laughs> yeah, the more the merrier. It's always cool to have more feedback, more people joining us, um, you know, just hanging out because we're going to be doing some fun, fun techniques here on the computer today. So if you guys have ever been interested in seeing how digital artists do what they do, um, it should be a fun fun episode today <clears throat> i mean i'm no digital like virtuoso or anything but don't talk down on yourself i'm just saying you know I just, i'm still learning yes, but uh it's those guys who can like paint like whole worlds and stuff mm -hmm. so good i suck compared to <laughs> <laughs> you'll get there now here's the thing guys um for those of you watching i'm not actually saying I suck at art. I'm saying is compared to their experience level, mine is diminutive. So I have to keep working really hard every day until I can catch up to them. That is the, that's the, the challenge of every artist. So if you want to get into the industry, it's going to be challenging yourself every day to get better all the time. And never hold back. <laughs> and one day you will draw green people as good as me. Just kidding. One day. <laughs> Yo, look, do what the what like a dude, I just <laughs> I gotta teach myself that line, whatever it is. <laughs> we just start all live streams like this is like a warm up sketch and then the actual one while we're waiting for people to join us. Hey guys, hey. Do, 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 do. I picked Genji because I have a sneaking suspicion he's not going to win the votes. To <laughs> so I'll just draw him anyway. <laughs> yeah, you think? I don't know. Like, even if I'm not good with him, I'm going to play him all the time. Just because he's a ninja. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how dedicated I am to, to ninjiness. Then we just make another layer behind him. And we do a dark green. And we do this. Ah, ah! <laughs> All right, guys. Always be careful of tabs. Come on, get in. All right. I don't know how to put the. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Disaster averted, everyone. Mm hmm. Maybe I should just lower that away from there so I don't touch it again. 
Okay, so I was trying to do some type of Japanese looking pattern. That's not working. Okay, so. See, isn't that great? All of it's gone now. That's how digital art works. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. All right, I can't, I can now not think of another pattern to do aside from this one, so I'm just gonna take, keep, go back to doing it again. That was a lot of wasted energy. You know what? I think I know why this isn't working. Why? Because just a pattern behind him is not suitable. I must do something more magical in nature. So what I'm going to do is a dragon. <laughs> you judging me, John? Right, right. I'm never judging at all. Is that what you, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting a very judgy vibe right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comment below if you think John is judging. No. <laughs> Never. It's like abuse the comment below question. <laughs> comment, <laughs> comment below if you think I should do something else. <laughs> have you checked the votes, John? They I have. Have they changed? No. Nobody's voting. No Nobody. one's voting. Is somebody watching? No, I can't. There's people watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, I wish I could see if people were <laughs> watching because then I wouldn't ask him as much. But no, I'm good. I, I, it feels needy, you know, like I'm being <laughs> needy. I, I feel, you know, I feel love. Like, why don't they like us, John? Like, hey, they just, we just started the stream. <laughs> we just started. So, let's see. Now we do this. Whoa. So now that that is like that, then drop this one behind there. Let me make a dragon, you guys. Because what would a Genji picture be without a dragon? It would be a... Uh, Genji picture without a dragon? Shut uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're in your darn logic and stuff. I know, right? Gotcha. It's fantastic.
Okay. What's up, Ben? Did I miss a comment? Nope. He's just watching. Uh, I can see who's watching. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Creepy. Very creepy. All right, well, you want to get this show started? Yep. No All right, guys. Key. So final tally of the votes is... Probably it's... didn't change. Yay! So it's... I got it right here. Tracer with four votes. Staggering victory. Um, huge margin. Everybody's excited. So... Let's go ahead and reveal that I've already been working on a Tracer idea. Because, uh, yeah, we're kind of limited <laughs> on time today, so I couldn't do, like, <laughs> couldn't do uh, the conceptualization of it at the same time also as everything else. So this was kind of the idea for the costume that came over Keyblades. Um, decided because Tracer dual wields to go ahead and create two shorter keyblades for her to use. Um, but I think I really like the idea so far. Face translated pretty well into Kingdom Hearts kind of style. And this keyblade was a lot of fun to make. So I think we're ready. Let's see. All right. We are. So let's go ahead and start working on Pose. Pose super important. Also helps gauge height and everything else. Let's see here. Now the female characters, pretty much like an hourglass in that regards. So you have the hips that you can work with, match about the shoulder length or width, I mean. So then, like I said, for this, we're going to go ahead and put one of them going backwards. And she'll have the other one going forwards. Like that. So then, now we start adding on the body shapes. So, like, I was going to go ahead and do... I didn't want to mess with her costume too much. Um, like, with Divas, we just transformed it into... Um, basically an outfit instead of a jumpsuit. So in this case, we're going to be doing something kind of similar. Instead of the bomber jacket, I'm going to be doing like a bomber um, bomber vest with a shirt underneath that is going to create the arm things like these. Uh, the arm, arm parts there, or the flaps, where you would. I don't know if you could say it. Um, I was debating whether or not I wanted to put the reactor that she wears on her chest still. Um, but in the end, I decided to go ahead and leave it because realistically, I suppose if she built a weapon like that, she probably would just wear it the same way. So it should be fine. I didn't want to stray too far. Originally, I had designed it as a shoulder pad, oddly enough. <laughs> Don't really know if that would have worked out. But let's see. So she's got these gauntlets on her arms. We're going to go ahead and keep those and her gloves. And then we block out the space for the keyblade parts. So we know if we move her around on the page where her blade and everything has to reach. What we did do with the bomber jacket, like I said, is turn it into a vest. So it's short, kind of like a crop top kind of thing. And then underneath she has her actual shirt with the zipper and other items i was gonna have her wearing her goggles up hey hey jack's game what's up what's up welcome to the stream we're working on tracer as a kingdom hearts character so that should be fun Let's see how this goes i said uh made her goggles look angry just now that was not my intention <laughs> Should be fine. It'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of angry goggles every once in a while. She intimidates her opponents, strikes fear into their hearts. Alright. 
so like I said, one thing that Kingdom Hearts is pretty well known for is pointless buckles <laughs> and belts. So something we're going to try to make sure we do properly, which is use a lot of buckles and belts pointlessly. Because <laughs> why not? Hey, if that's how the head animator does it, the, or the head character designer at Square Enix does it, and I'm trying to emulate them, then that's what I got to do, man. That's what I got to do. All right. So we have the base pieces, and then she's got pretty lanky legs, so I'm going to try to preserve that. And you give emphasis to them by making her wear these baggy shorts. Um, but you still have from her, pretty much her knees down, you'd have the, uh, whoops. So now we can go ahead and adjust it because we know made her a little too high. Or a little too tall, I mean. So we want to make sure we can fit all of her. And another big thing is in Kingdom Hearts, characters like legs and feet and stuff. <coughs> Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but the feet are usually pretty big. At least the shoes are anyway. Um, but not the hands. Very odd. But it's not the hands. But whatever. What are you going to do? I don't know. Logic escapes me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got these parts blocked out. Now, once we like where that is, okay. Other thing is you got to remember the dangly things off the keyblades. So now that we like where all this is sitting, then we can go over here again. And we're going to. Yeah, make a selection. Copy. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so we, we have. We have. <laughs> are you judging me again? Yeah, I'm we, definitely judging you. <laughs> we went over that. We talked about your judgmentalness, John. We need to work on it. <laughs> I'm feeling hurt right now a little bit. Hey. You know, it's just love. <laughs> Is that it? Is it's that all it? the love I can give you. Whoops, I erased your leg. Um, <laughs> all right, note self, guys. Control-Z is your best friend when you're making digital art. If anything, that's pretty much the only awesome side to being a digital artist is that you can control things. Um, Unless you're me and then all F4 is your friend. <laughs> I tried to draw. And guess what happens? I can't draw. <laughs> Just John tries to draw. <laughs> Just John. I can, you know, I can manipulate uh, photos and stuff. I can do that kind of stuff, but drawing, nope. Hey man. Hey man. Uh, I don't, I don't judge. Practice you know. makes perfect. I know, right? I uh, practice at being really bad at it every day. Look, <laughs> man, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't try to tell you to. Hey, you're cheating there. What? You're cheating. What are you talking? You're supposed to draw them individually. That is not true. <laughs> Forget that. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. Oh. Reflect. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna draw them both if they're identical. That's that's <laughs> that seems like a good good use of my time when I have a limited time for these <laughs> lovely people to draw for them. That looks nice. Look at that. That does look nice. Dude, this one's gonna be sweet. I can already tell. I'm excited. You know, do a background? No. Why? You know what I'll do? I'll show people the other upside to being a character artist digitally. I'll just go and grab a Photoshop <laughs> a background, an Overwatch background, and drop it there. Be like, yeah, <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> 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 I'm not even playing either. Like, I'm totally doing that now. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, what are you doing, man? I duplicated everything. <laughs> Good job. I'm trying to grab her head. I mean, the <laughs> make selection. Look, dude. <laughs> you judging me again? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I am the giant head. Ooh. Like, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. I don't fit on this body. Oh, it will. 
with the magic of again editing. You know, warp it. <laughs> her head. But ah, uh, look at look that. At that. It's like Half it's the work's always, already done. It's like it's always been there, <laughs> ladies and gents. <laughs> This is this is something, isn't it? It is. It is definitely something. Hey, hey! I don't appreciate what you put. I know, right? <laughs> We're John's mean. I'm tone. just Josh Ross. <laughs> just Josh cries because just John is mean to just Josh. <laughs> Aw, poor baby. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I fused my background with everything else, so I got to fix that. Okay, now we got a white background again. Good job. <sighs> we won't fight. <laughs> let's not do that. Yeah, John, let's not. So stop you might win. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> you might just win. <laughs> I'm lazy, dude. I'll just like <laughs> throw the desk on you. <laughs> there you go. Just tip it over. <laughs> just John can't get up. That's the magic of. All right, wait. Let me just double check because I drew these. I'm pretty sure um, correctly, but you know, it's always good to have a legit reference. Look, man, you judge me right now. Look, man, which one of this? <laughs> we literally just talked about. Ah, oh, that works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, all right, we're good. All right, I couldn't lean that against that. That was, that was bad. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Are you judging me right now? I'm not all right. at all. <laughs> all right, guys, so what happens with Kingdom Hearts eyes is they've got like this swoop to them. And with w normally they would be a little bit more swooped. But because Tracer's like a really like upbeat character, I'm gonna try and do him a little bit more like foopy. Yes. Art word of the day, everyone. Foopy. 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 Yep. Just Josh uses really fancy art terms. They made awesome. up on the spot. What? <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Don't give away my secrets. <laughs> That's not okay. Dude, I'm so I'm so bummed. Why? I still haven't seen Black Panther. What is wrong with you? I haven't either. I was gonna say it. <laughs> I was gonna say if you give me crab, I'm pretty sure you still haven't either. So <laughs> I have not. <laughs> I need to. I'm just. Everybody keeps. People be like, "What kind of food am I?" And I'm like, "I know. I want to go. I can't. I'm gonna take my mom to go see it one of these days." One of these days. Hey. I'll, I'll do it. You may not believe in me, but I'll make it happen one day. I'll go to Wakanda. That is always gets me a laugh. Is like, did you see the trailer for Black Panther? No, I haven't. Because the dude who's Smeagol from Lord of the Rings is one of the bad guys in the movie. Yeah. And he's like, what do you know about Wakanda? <laughs> and I'm like... All right, I feel like there's a pronunciation issue here. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Now, I I haven't seen any of the trailers. I haven't seen anything about Black Panther. Dang, dude. Well, you know... Bro. See, I don't watch cable, okay? I watch YouTube. I have YouTube Red, so I don't get <laughs> preview or uh, Look, bro, I don't watch cable either. I just look this stuff up. I don't. I I, I tend not to. <laughs> <laughs> the, the trailers usually, you know, look good, and then the movie sucks or whatever. Not Marvel movies. They're usually pretty decent. Well, you know. Oh, you better not say you don't like Marvel movies. We're going to fight, John. I, okay. Just Josh fights. No, nah, I'm too tired. I don't know. <laughs> see. Gosh, guys, you have no idea how much nicer it is to be able to ink a picture without having to, like, throw the piece of paper out and start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> huh. What do you guys think so far? 
Any comments? Feedback? Gotta did everybody leave? I'm feeling I'm feeling needy again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So much, like, you could get the swoopy lines, you know, with the digital ink. It's yeah. so hard to do that with real ink. Mm. It's the swoopy. Swoopy John. Thank you very much, Jack. So, do you ever find yourself just, like, looking for random brushes for Photoshop? Nope. Super lazy. <laughs> wow. I would really like to. I don't really you know, know where to There's a website for that, right? Well, here's the thing. I don't know where to look. The other thing is I suck at remembering Google. how to install brushes. So, install. I've downloaded a bunch of brushes, and then I can't find them afterwards. <laughs> and then, like, I'm so tired and lazy. I'm just like, all right, back to the standard brush set. Yeah. <laughs> so, installing brushes are pretty easy. You know, go into your resource pro, uh, file, folder. And yeah. You install them under brushes. Look at that. That's so pretty. Still uh, not going to probably do it. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. I'm a very minimalist artist, John, meaning I make things harder on myself by drawing with tools that I don't work I make them work i make them work with willpower <laughs> and what's uh what is this that you're using to draw this is the best drawing program ever and it's, it's called clip studio clip studio formerly known as manga studio it looks like they poured it over from uh mac so who knows but it's one of the premier drawing softwares that companies use like digital artists yeah. comic book artists especially because the g pen like this one i'm using uh -huh. super clean and you don't have to like this is just straight stock i never tweaked this this is literally how it came it works perfect every time it just takes a second to get used to the smoothness of the strokes but other than that it's when you learn it super smooth and you can ink something way faster because you're not having to like tweak the brush adjust anything and is this like a free software or? no but unlike photoshop it's not subscription so you literally just pay one time and it's yours and the cool thing is is that clip studio is always doing sales so like actually i was pretty sad about this i paid uh, they had a, like a 30 percent off sale yeah. and i was like yeah that's awesome and i paid like 50 dollars right and now this also includes that you can get updates and stuff too to the software and new brushes. You can download stuff from their servers or whatever. Um, and it's like, whoa, yeah, it's awesome. So updates are free from then on everything. Then the next day, literally, it was Valentine's Day weekend or whatever. The next day they had a Valentine's Day promo for 60% off. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. So you can imagine I was quite bummed that I did not have... <laughs> that price would have been nice but honestly 50 60 bucks is worth it for this type of clean inking because honestly i get frustrated with photoshop and i don't know if anybody else here tries to use photoshop for digital inking but it's super annoying and to not get I like to get used to it is annoying it's not that the software itself is it's just it just takes a while to get used to it and to make brushes, fine brushes, and this, I literally downloaded it, and I was drawing like this level on here instantly. And I don't mean like skill level, I just mean like cleanness. All right, so let's see, so. Almost done. Moving on to. Sorry about that. No problem. They're done walking. Oh. Yeah. Well, did fine, I guess. My wife was out walking for autism. It was uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Do they have the link to the website there? Uh, I don't have it on me now. Hmm.
If y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment and we'll try to answer them. What he means is we're lonely. Talk to us, guys. Come on. Yes. There's only so much, you know, Josh and I can talk about. So how's the weather out there? It's cold. There you go. Best thing ever. <laughs> I was, like, getting sad because it was starting to get all rainy and, like, humid again here in Florida. And then, like, we had a day of cool weather yesterday. And I was like, yeah. And today. Yep. So when I get out, when we finish with the live stream, I got to go work on dad's house. And uh, <clears throat> so it's nice to know there won't be as many bugs out and all that stuff. Yesterday was great. We were out till late in the night and it was still no bugs. No bugs. That's good. Normal days. It's like we probably don't have any blood left. Um, <laughs> all the mosquitoes are dead. Well, you know, you don't need that. <laughs> You don't need that much to live? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> ah, you don't need blood. Just replace it with monster. I was working on that, and then I got derailed on that, and I got to start all over. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I'm trying to get off of energy drinks, which is why I will probably be buying one on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get off of energy drinks, too, by drinking more. Yeah, like what the trick is is if you drink too many, right? Yeah. You'll get sick of it, and then you will stop. And that is what we're thinking. So we're going to keep trying at that. We'll let you know how that goes, guys, if you're ever curious, want updates. Ben says, doing digital today, huh? Yeah, it's my preferred for uh, Hoya. <laughs> got, we got some, some tracer emojis, looks like. <laughs> I don't know what them newfangled <laughs> emoji names are. They call them something. I don't know. Do they call something different on Twitch? Twitch emojis. Yeah. Wow, okay. So sometimes there's a weird swirl or something you have to do. And that's another reason why digital art is cool. Because, like, you could be mid-drawing and you can just do this. Like, to get the angle you need. So if you know... Wait, what did you just use to twist it? My tablet. Oh, okay. So I just I, saw the words touch on, so I'm like, okay, did you turn your, your laptop touch screen on? Touch engaged. Not really emotes, emojis, whatever. <laughs> She's waving now. Okay. Well, I just, I don't know. I, I guess I will still forever remain in the dark. But thank you, though, for the pictures of Tracer that you're using. <laughs> All right, guys. So for those of you who are just jumping in, sorry. Go ahead and stand her back up properly <laughs> this is where, okay i did not do that properly come on Woo! all right so this is where we're at so far with our kingdom hearts tracer guy kapow um <laughs> that was me apparently john what are you doing <laughs> i was just trying it out you know oh okay all right. fair enough so I gotta click things. Keeps me entertained. See? Now we're just gonna have a battle. <laughs> really, John? I, you're right. What was that? It's a squid. It's a squid, ladies and gentlemen. Um, heads up, of course, as you can see from the hand image, I am just drawing, and John is doing what John is doing. Ben says, must be the mouse touchpad on and off. Well, it says Wacom. That yeah, it's, is. A, it's a setting that allows me to engage, um, allows me to engage touch or not on the... Uh, on the tablet when I need it. Why'd you sad face, John? Welcome, Breeze. Yes, Glad how are you, you doing? Join us. Ben says, no, uh, John, no clicking for you. Yeah? There you go. Take that. <laughs> Here, louder. John is a very contrarian type person. Yeah. Don't tell him not to do something, he will do you it. You ain't a boss me. <laughs> Learned this over being his friend for many years. 
You just don't tell him not to touch something because he will touch it. It's like Finding Nemo. I'm going to touch the butt. And he would be the dude swimming out there to go touch the butt. I got in trouble once. Um, we uh, In high school, we went to Kenny Space Center. Mm. Went and looked at the launch complex and where the control room where they launch stuff. And there's this computer there that has a radar on it that shows you any planes in the area. They're like, don't touch that. <laughs> Guess what I did? <laughs> <laughs> John sends like a frequency to a pilot out there. He's like, uh, we're requesting clearance. To- no, I just zoomed in, okay? <laughs> they made the keyboard very easy to read. There's a button that says zoom in. So I zoomed in. I was like, okay, you move over here. I'm like, no. <laughs> I want to do more. <laughs> Allow me to mess with. The- Air Force guy wasn't too happy. <laughs> I would imagine not touching people's stuff. We became friends. <laughs> We can't wait. I can't tell if that's sarcasm. Or not. That was definitely sarcasm. That was more like, "You're not allowed back here." <laughs> and that's how John was banned from the Kennedy. Space. Lies, uh, lies, all lies. You would be in jail. No, it's not lies. I actually did it, and the dude was not happy. Why he is not? And dude. no, I did not go to jail. For... So, poo. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so poo, that's a great comeback. So poo. Yep. Just John. I'd do a lot of push-ups that day, but you know. <laughs> okay, gosh, man. The only thing that gets me every time, dude, and that's another reason I like digital. <laughs> it's not like a broken record at this point, is that you can make circles. Um, circles. In the program, so you don't have to try to hand draw a real circle. (laughs) Which is great, because I can't do that. (laughs) You could do it if you try. No, there's like 12 people on Earth who can draw a perfect circle, like, in one go. Um, I am definitely not one of them. Me neither. Most of them are like art savants, like they're like super good at <laughs> anything related to drawing. I can trace a circle. <laughs> that's a good job, buddy. Yeah, good job. that's about it. That also goes to the extent of me drawing too, so you know. Hey, I bet you I could teach you to draw pretty easily. Man wants to know, is this a male or female character? This is Tracer. John, do you think you'd be able to pull up a picture of Tracer? Yeah. She's I would say she's kind of a tomboy character. Um She <clears throat> She's definitely more of a tomboy character, yeah. Her girlfriend in the game is a lot more of a sensitive like a more of a feminine type character, I suppose. But she's definitely the more kind of more practical out practically dressed <laughs> let's see if this works i guess if leggings is practical I don't know. going into battle i'm gonna wear leggings <laughs> and and a bomber jacket because that there you go that's tracer she flies around and so to answer your question it's a female bin um she flies around shoot shit she's from hey oh my apologies john gets carried away gets for streaming <laughs> uh but yeah no tracer she's english so or, uh, and she's one of the agents from overwatch and i liked her story she has a cool short film too ben says like i said i don't play overwatch but i've been playing a lot of fortnite yeah i've watched some people play fortnite it seems pretty funny it is a fun game you should download it on your xbox so you have is it free it is free that's Unless fine. you want to play the um, player against uh, the zombie one. No, I'm good. Player against uh, environment. No. PVE player versus environment. Anyways, but yeah. yeah. And I'm not going to say that one, Ben, so good job. But I, um, we also just got uh, PUBG too. That's a fun game too. PUBG. Yeah. What's that? P- uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Oh. Yeah. 
I don't know. Ben says it's free unless you play, uh, play PvE or you want uh, the battle pass. Hmm. Yeah. My son saved up his money and made me get him the uh, season three battle pass. I guess that's what it was. But yeah. Did he enjoy it? I, yeah, you just get more loot and stuff, I guess. Uh, ben says PUBG sucks. Well, you know, <laughs> I liked it, so. Poo. That's what John says when people disagree with him. He says poo. Well, poo, Ben. <laughs> it is laggy as all hey, hey, types of hey. lagness. I usually, I can tell <laughs> based on his speech pattern what word was about to come out. And I'm like, well, John. Um, it definitely, it definitely has some problems. But it, it was a, uh, it was a nice to play that instead of Fortnite for a little bit. Change of pace. Ben says, "Yep, season three battle pass. I've completed my battle pass already." And Ashley says, uh, "Love me some Kingdom Hearts and some Tracer." Woo woo! She's getting all the love. Huh. She's like, cheers, love. Hello, hello. What's all this thing? What do you guys, you guys like the British accent? Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. My friend, my friend Gerard, he can do a really good like Cogni accent. So he legit sounds like he would be the guy to like sell you like counterfeit watches in a back alley. He even like does the hand gestures. You know, he's like. He's like, hey, uh, how you doing? You know, you're nice, you're right, right, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice Rolex over here. Not quite Rolex, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like he just, it's super believable. So that was, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Hey um, Ben, uh, later on, uh, hit me up on private ma uh, message and have me on Xbox. All right, so one of the things that, of course, I just mentioned earlier is that she wears leggings um, instead of pants. And since I'm making pants, because Kingdom Hearts is not known for leggings wearing characters, so <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite art styles because everybody's got hammer pants. Um, <laughs> should I find funny? So I have to design hammer pants based off of her leggings hammer time all right let's see whoops you know you know it's always the worst because mm. when you get a line that looks right um the top half and then the bottom half of the line i don't know what happened like Control Z. Your, your brain just went wah. <laughs> Control Z. No, but you're like, you're mad because you're like, man, that would have been such a good line. <laughs> now I got to redo it. <laughs> when I'm uh, when I'm uh, photoshopping stuff, I'm trying to create like promo material or something. Uh, and I get frustrated because it's screwed up so much. I'll just hold Control Z until as, as far as it go back, then close it because I'm done. <laughs> I'll come revisit that later. Revisit what is gone. <laughs> He's like, man. My original idea that did not turn out. <laughs> we'll revisit nothing. I have to make it all over again. So we'll revisit the idea in just its idea form. Yeah. It's better than, you know, hitting your computer or something. Those things cost money. I never get that frustrated. Uh, I used to. I'm apparently a very even-tempered person. <laughs> I just like, I'm gonna go watch TV for a while, <laughs> not throw my computer out the window. It's fine. Mm. Ben says, "Ed, Ed, he's our man. We miss Ed. Yes, we do." I was trying to make that round. It wasn't. It wasn't working. Is Ed in the chat? Ed is watching. Hey, buddy. 
I'm just drawing stuff. <laughs> I'm just on drawing. On the computer. Yeah. yeah. Her gun had her gun. I designed the the keyblade, of course, to be based off of her firearm, which is a little difficult because there's like straight shapes on a firearm, and then there's also organic shapes. So mm. you have to kind of find a balance. Balance between the two. Yep. But of course, once again, digital saves the day because I can just hold that button and make a straight line if I need to. So. <laughs> What I'm and trying course, to say. Facebook here. kicked me off the stream, so now the comments are not in order. I love Facebook. Guys, we're we're starting to get pretty frustrated with Facebook um, as far as streaming goes, uh, to the point where we may may honestly just stop streaming on Facebook altogether. Now, I'm not sure, you know, if that would be a huge inconvenience to everybody to tune in on Twitch or Mixer or any of the other platforms that we use, but. I don't know. We're that's the only reason why we're still doing it on Facebook is because of the viewers that we have on Facebook. So I don't know if you guys would be down with still doing the, watching the stream, but on like YouTube or something instead, or Twitch, or then we might just make the switch all together off of Facebook for streams. But we still post the announcements and stuff for them on. It's just laggy, and then the quality of the footage goes down too. So, yep. All right. So let's see. They don't like to use Twitch. Isn't that like all Twitch is actually good for? Oh. Ben says, I got to go. My phone's going to die. All right, Ben. It was good to have you with us. Yeah, charge your I'll phone. I'll be posting the finished um, artwork later today for those who. It depends if you have an audience already on Facebook, Breeze. Um, maybe. For us, we we're just starting out and we were having. Um... The problem with um, Facebook is. It only allows you to live stream 720p. And then on top of that, there's so many different bugs with it. Like, if you're watching on your phone, it'll kick you out out of nowhere. And then when you go back in there, all the comics, uh, comments are in, in a random order. It doesn't happen on every phone, but a lot of phones that I've seen, it does that. But the big one is the quality. The quality is definitely bad. Um, on Twitch and Mixer, you do not need a account to watch. Um, you have to have an account to comment. Yeah. Yeah. Same with YouTube. You don't have to have an account to watch. The only time that is uh, different is if we're uh, if someone's streaming something that is you know adult content. You have to be 18 or older, then they will require you to um, have an account. And we'll never have that problem. So. Nope, we don't have any plans to start Just Us Rawls after dark anytime soon. So. Oh, you know. John, why would you even say that out loud? <laughs> it's just a funny ugh. joke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do you think so far? Where we we draw in grayscale, cool. not color. This is coming out pretty good, dude. I think I'm going to do the rest of it. I don't know. I man. definitely like it, yeah. I think I may just switch over to doing all digital streams. This is a lot easier. A lot <laughs> cheaper. A good result. Now, Breeze, if you are looking at streaming to Facebook, um, what I would definitely suggest is looking at restream.io you have to pay for it to you uh, stream to facebook but if you're just wanting to stream to twitch mixer and youtube it's free um, they have a lot of different um awesome things that they do like the comments we see all of our comments on stream except facebook except for facebook because that part is broken 
for some reason. Um, and you can respond to them by uh, it restreams to uh, all any one. They have tons of different um, channels out there. So yeah, we've been John has been looking for different ways to pull off a proper stream and we just finally got our rhythm onto one that works pretty well well that's why i was saying if you are not uh streaming to facebook then it's free and you can broadcast to multiple channels the benefit is that is uh the computer that you're using to stream how to you're streaming just to one uh channel and it gets rebroadcast out now there is a 30 second delay but Small price to pay to be able Small to price. Yeah. stream to multiple places at once for free. Hey man, we gotta start somewhere. Let's see here. Restream uh, .io should give me an affiliate link, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. I wonder if we can email them about that. Right. I've been sending you a lot of people. Let's see. I don't know why I did not duplicate the ink for this keyboard, but whatever. It'll be alright. And of course, if you don't do streaming, uh, definitely use OBS. It is free. We have... Um, played around with other software to stream with and some of them are really nice but you know price versus what OBS offers OBS is the way for now yeah it's great for people just starting out come on now. don't give me a hard time All right, so I just sent you the link for Restream.io, and you can go there and look at all the different channels that they offer. Uh, the ones that we use is uh, YouTube, Mixer, Twitch, and then we have a custom RTMP uh, for Facebook that uh, you would have to pay for if you were looking at doing that. That's like three dollars or um, something. Oh no, seven. No way. Yeah, so you'd be able to stream to Facebook separately. Like if you did two streams and one was for Facebook on a different time and you did something else. Um, and then you could like do the restream to do all the other streams that you would do. Um, but if you want maximum reach, like I said, with our experience, Facebook hasn't really been that helpful stream wise. Um, we kind of have a, a fan base of like friends, close people that we know, and that's pretty much who tunes in most of the time. But honestly, everything else has been pretty quiet. So I would say if you're going to get into it, I would probably just do um, Mixer and Twitch and stuff like that. And, and YouTube. Yeah, and YouTube. Just sure. because. Yeah, anytime. Uh, here's also the link to OBS, just because. <laughs> just John's advice. Technology. The big one is, if you are going to do voiceover while streaming, is get yourself a decent mic. Um, they... Do cost money, but you can get a decent one for about thirty bucks on Amazon. Yeah. So. Or yeah, if you just want people to watch you drawing and you comment back to them in the typing, then that's one thing. But if you want to be able to communicate with your viewers, um, this would definitely be a big a big deal to have. Yeah. Proper streaming gear. Because if you're just using like a mic on your headset, it doesn't work too well. 
You can get away with it for a little bit, but people will get irritated quickly. Let's see. All right. Oof. Yeah, let's go. How did I do this one? Any suggestions on mics? John loves audio, of course. Oh, I sound like a Froghorn Leghorn. Froghorn Leghorn is a cartoon chicken from Looney Tunes, I think. He's like, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hey, man. If you, sometimes when you sound like a cartoon character, you should just roll with it. Um, honestly, I do voice impressions, and I want to start doing a channel doing them anyway. So I'm kind of in, <laughs> you know, I kind of do funny voices too, uh, or interesting voices. So if you already have one, just roll with it, dude. Be you, man. Don't don't feel weird about it. That microphone just said it's not the best in the world. The XLR to headphone jack is decent. Just don't power up to 100% on your computer settings. Do about 80-ish. So you'll have to talk up a little bit or speak up, but it should do fine. Whoop. I always forget when I have whoop. <laughs> Touch is off now. Dude, bro. <laughs> All right, certain downsides to <laughs> This is getting ridiculous now. What? It's sliding like every time. <laughs> Try and do it. What is? The tablet? My mouse and stuff, yeah. Mm. I'm just trying to get to the menu options, dude. Okay. All right, I think we fixed the problem. <laughs> I think I had something selected was probably what it was. Whoops. Yeah, it comes with a uh, stand. comes with a microphone, uh, shock absorber, uh, a... Uh, XLR to headphone and a uh, wind protector. If you do get that one, just uh, do yourself a favor and don't speak directly into it because it does pop pretty good. Yeah. All right. Shoes, man. Shoes are so huge. <laughs> that is just how Kingdom Hearts style is. Never really understood that. In the meeting, you know. No, their feet have to be gigantic. <laughs> uh, so we have um, three different cameras we use. We have for the face cam that you uh, see uh, Josh and the drawing camera. Those are both Logitechs. They're the Logitech HD cameras. They're USB, they're webcams. So you pay a price using webcams. Um, they have to be somewhat close to actually give you a good um, video, but they do show uh, 1080p. 
Um, if you downscale it to 720, you could do a little bit of zooming, but be careful with it because you lose a lot of detail. Um, as for our other streams, when he's actually drawing with paper, we use a Panasonic uh, HD camera um, hooked up with XLR to a HDMI capture card, and that is not cheap. Uh, although the Logitech do, uh, does have stereo uh, microphones, don't use them. Unless you're just doing like a Skype call, because you will hear everything. <laughs> like someone, you know, two rooms down, you'll hear them shut the door. It, it's great. Like John gets into advanced audio, <laughs> yeah. so we get the foam padding for your walls. And yeah, you, you definitely should look at some uh, foam padding. The reason why we don't use it here is because I'm poor. Um, hey man, I found I was gonna tell you, I found um, foam padding like that on Wish for like nothing <laughs> cost wise. You should have grabbed it. No, they still have it. You just look up um, sound foam. You know, it's gonna be really cheap Chinese. That's what I. Figure. Probably not sound foam. Probably just normal foam. But oh well. That's why I figured I wouldn't buy it until I mentioned it to you. But I saw. Oh well, no! It'll still, you know, it'll look good and it'll sound. We don't have an echo problem here because of the the round part that you sit in front of. But like in my other office over here, we would have some echoing. All right, guys. We have the Tracer inks done. I actually feel really good about this one. Like, snap, dude. Zach on Facebook is asked, uh, says this. This may have already been asked, but what kind of laptop are you using? What drawing program are you using? So, <clears throat> laptop is a Lenovo ThinkPad. Um, it is a convertible that allows you to draw, but I don't use it anymore because the pen just... Honestly, it was a little finicky. Um, so I use a uh, I use a standard Wacom Bamboo Create tablet in the larger size. Um, you can start off smaller. Mine is they can see it that long. It's pretty <laughs> long because I sweep a lot with my hands when I draw long strokes of movement so it becomes a hassle if i have to work within a small square and the software the software is clip studio or formerly known as manga studio um i was explaining to everybody as well that you can get a pretty good deal on it um as far as like during any kind of holidays or anything like that they do some promotions pretty solid promos like 60 percent off sometimes um, so you can actually get it for a really solid deal. And it's, like I said, even when it's not like 60% off, it's about, um, 50, 60 bucks. And then you own it and the updates are free and it has some of the best inking possibilities, like software wise, like built in of anything I've ever used. So I would definitely recommend it. So let's see. It's almost that time for us to go ahead and move this into Photoshop. Now, I do that purely because um, with Clip Studio, the brushes are more for, I don't know if you guys are noticing anything here, but the... Oh, I see it. So when you're doing this, see how it's see-through partially? It's not helpful for <laughs> trying to paint something. Um, so it's great for inking, but not for coloring until I get more used to it, to be honest. Well, I also think that's the pen style that you're using as well. Yeah, the pen pressure creates some problems like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and do. Mm -hmm. Oops. Tracer KH ship. We're going to make it a Photoshop document. And now. Go ahead and open up Le Photoshop. 
Now that software that he was using, you can do color with it. It's yes. He's just used to using Photoshop for coloring. So mm -hmm. it is totally feasible. You don't have to have multiple pieces of software for it. Yeah, I'm terrible about. It would help if he was organized too. Hey, it's hey, right there. hey, shush face. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to give me crap. So he's giving me crap. All right. So what I usually do? Oh, I forgot. Ed messed up my Photoshop. Uh, let's see, window. <laughs> well, because Ed does things differently than I do, so he hates my layout in Photoshop because I just use very simple. Very simple way of doing things. You use the default setup? Yep. And he hates it, man. Dude. Hates it. So. So you see, I'm just going for more of a solid, just flat colors. So, like, for Clip Studio, it would be great if you're trying to do painterly, like, blending and whatnot. Um, because the colors don't 100% saturate what you're doing. So you can actually, like blend them together, mix them, try different things, techniques. And I've done some painter painter type stuff in that program and it's really helpful. But I would say it definitely really depends on your needs. And in this case, I'm trying to do more of a shell, like a cell shaded. So I need flat colors. So <clears throat> pretty much the trick is going around and making, filling in all these gaps with color. So that way when you do your auto select, you can basically protect the image from the background. And just fill it all in gray and then you can select it to use it, to color it as you go. It's a lot easier. So it may seem odd that I'm only coloring like the outside line of a shape but there's a reason and i'll explain here shortly so one problem if you're very loose when you ink things is sometimes you'll miss a gap where a line doesn't touch another line so the problem with that is is that unless you have very high sensitivity settings so that the program will catch that and it'll finish the line for you when you try to just fill like bucket fill something it goes nope <laughs> and it, it selects like the whole everything ever like around the character all that stuff like so it's kind of a pain that took us um so this is kind of the only way to ensure either that or make better lines uh, <laughs> let's see man dude <laughs> Normally, if you, like, increase your brush size and you go, like, here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Can fill the space a little easier. I'm trying to work quickly, guys, you know, so. Whoops. Yeah, truthfully, this is why most artist streams are like four hours, like three or four hours, because working on projects like this usually takes a really long time. I'm honestly going to end up having to kind of rush through it a bit, so I may end up cleaning it up a little bit afterwards, but... Okay, here we go. Almost there, guys. Almost there. <laughs> the other thing is, is there's a lot of really cool tools, tools in Clip Studio Paint that I have no idea how to use yet because I honestly made the switch to the program recently because the inking was so much better. And so I'm still trying to learn them. Cause I've watched some people use clip studio and it honestly seems like for what I do, like for drawing and stuff and t-shirt design, 
it actually seems to work better than Photoshop as far as efficiency if you can learn how to use it. Um, but because I don't really have a whole lot of time to sit down and practice that particular program in depth, I just jump back and forth between Photoshop for now until I have a few until I have a few days I can dedicate to <laughs> practicing <laughs> everything. But the symmetry tool is cool on Clip Studio as well. If you want to like design something like a person's face, you want it to be completely symmetrical. That's handy. Um, let's see. Oof, man. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I feel like I'm playing Snake. Like a game <laughs> where you're like running around and trying not to bump corners. If you all have any more questions, please feel free to ask. Yep. Let's see here. Woo. Do you really need a squishier chair over here? Oh, man. <clears throat> Almost done, guys. Oh, I just have to take a standing break for a second. Don't mind me that I have no top of my head. Yeah, thank you. Got any sweet jams to play, John? I got the standard music playing in the background, but I couldn't get the other files to play. OBS didn't want to load them for some reason. Huh. There's always something being finicky, I guess. Yeah, it does at times. It's free, so I can't complain. Yeah, so I was going to say, too. Like, I guess. Well, I can't. It's not going to do anything any good, so. Yeah. Call customer service. Hey, why does your free thing not work? Like, uh. Because, Stacy, it's free. <laughs> She's like, but the best things in life are supposed to be free, not things that don't work. <laughs> Almost there. Huzzah! Oh, she's great! Yay! So, why do you, uh, black her all? gray? So, the reason why is so that now she can be selected. And I, can, and I won't mess up the background around her. And I won't have to color outside of the lines and then have to fix that too. See what I'm saying? Ow. Okay, one moment. <clears throat> All right. So. I guess got to fix these seams. That's the only thing I wish is when you use a bucket, bucket tool. Um, <laughs> the bucket. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it always leaves the same. Yeah, it always leaves that trail or whatever. Like it's like, geez, man. Like, yeah, outside the her arm, you hit a little bit on the outside. Hey, man. Hey, man. I wish you were home. You don't have to be so mean. I didn't say anything yet. Oh, John. Yes. <laughs> I'd laugh too because if Ed is still watching he'd probably be like cringing like if who? if Ed is still watching he's probably cringing like hey, you're screwing it up you're doing it all wrong yeah. it's so much faster doing this way yep you should hit control alt x y 10 12 
Mr. Rogers. Should hit all F4. It goes a lot faster. <laughs> uh, no. John. <laughs> <laughs> Control delete. Dude, that would suck right now if everything got deleted. Huh? Did not do that. What? Control hold delete. What does that don't do? Task manager. Okay, so why Close would you be upset? Everything. Hi, control shift escape. What does that do? Task manager. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that. 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 Oh yeah, her legs. Okay. All right. I'm just like, all right, guys, and that's it. Thank you all for tuning in. I drew Tracer Gray, and that's it. Stay tuned for next time when we make it white again. <laughs> All right, so now I can make the selection select the inverse. And then if I color anything, it won't get outside the lines, which is nice. Yeah. We still have uh, one more week left to do another character breeze, so who is your choice? I do not know how I feel about this skin tone. <laughs> You know, it is an Overwatch character, so, you know, they spend a lot of time outside. Is that what we're... Yeah. Sure. I might just pick a character next week myself. I mean, who knows? Well, let's go with his character, period. Done. Yeah, boom. You won. At the big price. Bless you. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Let's see. <laughs> uh -oh. That's better. <laughs> That's, yeah. All right. The art of skin tones. Yep. Let's well, prove as long as you know not to mess up certain ones, you should be fine. I mean, they're usually pretty obvious. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, John's wearing the mask. But he's not in front of the camera, so... Not really much point. You guys probably think I'm lying about the mask. <laughs> Like, I'm just hallucinating. <laughs> you are. None of this is real. <laughs> He's a monkey. He's <laughs> right there. How could you not see him anymore? I'm not crazy. I promise. Jeez. Seriously, he put it on just to not be on camera and not take off. Yep. That is messed up. I know, right? What color eyes? What? What color eyes are you going with? 
Whatever her actual color eyes are. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> well, she has color goggles on, I can't see them. <laughs> probably brown. Be probably a safe bet. Say brown. <laughs> they look brown. All right, I got the hair down. Can you see your goggles one more time, Joe? Okay, so pretty much white. Cool, cool. Yeah. I think they're white, like up to here, and then the gray. All right, so we got that. We can start coloring other objects that are white. Time to make your orange goggles. Yeah. Have to do like a gradient or something on them later. Yeah. There's that. <sighs> All right. What else is orange? Well, no, I won't mess with that. Yeah, because <clears throat> I'm gonna do her pants like a gradient too. So I just need to like. Make her vest now. Darker. Move on there. Whoa. Loaded question. Uh, <laughs> breeze. I honestly, I see the future as still definitely bright. We just have to figure out how to work around a lot of the issues with algorithms and stuff. Myself personally. I've been doing a lot of research trying to figure this out. I know John has. We're just trying to do the best we can to get off the ground as you know professionally and quickly as possible. But yeah, with all these new social, the new social media platforms, Vero. Also, uh, I am actually on Vero. I find it quite buggy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a pain in the tuchus, uh to quote my grandfather. Uh, no, <laughs> to quote my dad actually. Um, and. Uh, but it's it's one of those things where social media is kind of a necessary evil for me. I don't necessarily care for it per se. Um, no, I don't. Huh? <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly I haven't posted on my Facebook personally or anything in a really long time. Every post I make is for the for the team for the business for the you know the channel. So. <clears throat> See it's with definitely, yeah. with. Um... YouTube's algorithm change every 10 seconds. 
it, it is difficult uh, if you're trying to keep up with it. It's virtually impossible to do. And the problem is, is that they use uh, machine learning to choose what the top training videos are and all that. And you can't, you know, predict it. You pretty much just have to try and hopefully you get up there. Yep. Just got to roll with punches. And so, um, you know, with the whole notification system on uh, YouTube is interesting, uh, to say the least. That it's not default to notify people when you go live. It's only um, only enabled when you know someone chooses it, and that's why all those uh, YouTube channels out there like make sure you hit the bell, and you, you know, to get notified. Yeah. But I don't necessarily believe that should be how it is. Should be on by default and turned off if you get irritated. But that's just me. Yeah, I don't know why they do. They're doing that. They're making it like, I don't know if they're not necessarily making it purposely harder for creators, but I think I don't know. You know, quitting social media. It all depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to start a brand, um, it's gonna be tough because. Unfortunately, social media is needed. The problem is, is that picking and choosing which social media to go with. Um, you know, Facebook may not be your best option, or it could be the option that you need to go with. It all depends. I would avoid Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I have a Twitter and I post on it, but I really don't actually post on it. I share posts from everywhere else on it. Yeah, there's not much on Twitter other than a bunch of bots. So, I wouldn't mess with Twitter. The The great thing about new platforms like Vero is that you have a chance to gain popularity easier. Yeah, that's the only reason why I'm on there right now is because I'm like, well, there's not a lot of people on here, so... If if I start now and it, it does for some strange reason, you know, actually pick up, then it, it is, it in fact is, yeah, small guys does, I uh, do have a hard problem getting recognized. But like I say, if you start with a small, uh, small platform like Vero, if it takes off, then you have a, you know, a head start. Um, it's, it's a gamble because if you spend all your time doing it and it, you know, shuts down the next week, <laughs> yes, bots and Trump, Thank you. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you spend all the time, you know, getting, uh, starting up on Vero and you get people and then it dies down because it's not popular or it has so many bugs. It's not really funny. Yeah. If they can't, that's going to be the biggest decider. If they can't fix that stuff quickly to address the customer's complaints people who are using it then nobody's gonna stick around the other thing is is that if they really expect people to pay a subscription fee because that's one of the other things vero is going to be charging customers a subscription fee after the first year yeah yeah so um if you're one of the first million people to sign up which i think i was i'm not sure but if you are then you won't be charged forever like your account will always be free but for people who weren't they're going to need to be subscribing to be able to have access to the content so that would suffice to say that the content would have to be worth subscribing to of course um and so they really have a challenge on their hands making it something that people actually want to stick around to watch because right now the cool thing about it is it allows you to use high definition images which is neat you're actually able to post full-size images of what you do on there which is cool Do yeah I think it, it could it, cause problem for artists um it's cool but most theft. <laughs> most people you know view these things on phones so it's kind of pointless at the same time well yeah it's one of those things where like okay so for example if you have a high resolution file right and it's of a certain dimension and instagram only lets you post like square shaped photos or it, if they're too high resolution, it just crops them and then 
you're just grumpy because like the bottom of the legs of your drawing got cut off um so with vero no matter how high the resolution is on your image it will show up completely the whole picture even if you do multiple pictures in a post which is another thing on instagram if you try to do multiple pictures on a post it actually crops them even more when you do <laughs> additional crop uh, additional images so it's like crazy dude like the amount of cropping going on on, on instagram it's one of the things that drives me nuts about it But, like I said, it's, a, it's like a necessary evil if you want to try to build up any kind of following. Because you think about it, right? So if YouTube's having issues with reach and all these other social networks are having issues with reach, you have to make reach from somewhere else and then bring them over to your YouTube channel to create followers. It's the only way it's going to work then. So it's like, well, if that's the only way it's going to work, then we need to have platforms to do that. So... It's kind of why I'm like, well, there's not much for it. We're gonna have to, <laughs> gonna have to work on it. So it's not nothing to be done. All right, there's that. <clears throat> All right, let's see. See if it'll let me select what I need. Okay, all right, it seems to have done it. So, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try to make a gradient. Whoops. Put it in there. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong one. You must create the gradient for the pants. <laughs> Ta-da! So that's the tracer color pants. Um, that seemed to work all right. And the only other thing I wanted to test it on was this. Nope. All right. Let's <laughs> try this thing. I think it might help if I increase my opacity. There we go. All right. So my opacity was <laughs> like 7%. So we would have been here for a while. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see. So now I'll go ahead and start dropping some additional colors here. I'm going to do black to like a light gray. Maybe lower that one again. Yeah. All right. And then we do it again. It's these pants, man. They got a lot going on. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you freak yourself out with auto selection. Whoops. I just selected everything on the whole page. Like that. Ah. All right, so now we're going to try this again. Yeah, that works. All right. Now the only other thing is got to do some close to black. And then... Color them straps, man. Alright, so um just realized these straps are on the wrong layer. So Okay. I'll lighten that up a little bit. Go over here. Nope. Still on the wrong layer. Alright. It's good to know your layers, kids. Don't forget. All right, then. Okay. Well, that'll do. All right. So now we got her hands. Let's 
realize I lost my selection on the outside. Bummer. Gloves. And the handle on her gun is also black, I believe. The front is white. And this part is going to be black. Art is so involved, you guys. There's so much to it. So many steps, layers. Doing all right over there, John. He's lying, he's falling asleep. There you go. <laughs> Even John doesn't find this interesting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? What are you guys thinking so far of Tracer's guns? Wasn't really sure how I wanted to go about doing those, but. Yeah, that breaks it up quite nicely. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Looking good. Almost done. Let's see. Thank you, Breeze. Yes, thank you quite very much. Let's see. This one. Okay. Oops. that the blue whoops See, John, I should have just duplicated both of them completely. I should have just. Well, you know. Hindsight's twenty twenty. You, know? <laughs> you could have, but that would have been less fun. 
Is that what that is? Less fun? Yeah, less fun. I don't know, John. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Got that. We're going to fix something here, though, first. I like the random blue mark that you just put on there. What? This way on the the key? No, on the coat. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Don't judge me. Not judging you. I like that random mark you just made. That sounds pretty judgmental, John. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right, so let's try this. Now we do this. And it didn't do anything. <laughs> so we do this. <laughs> And we actually use the preview because it can be helpful. Look at that. Shut up. Yeah, darn right. I'm glowing. Cheese, love. Okay, uh, I don't remember what the inside of that thing looks like. Um, Here. Do you have the picture with the end? Nope, that doesn't show the inside. So. Oh, well then. Then farts? Is that what you're... Exactly. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Thank you, John. Where did I put your tracing? There you are. Oh, all right. Well, it's pretty much just glowing. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, okay. We're just going to leave it glowing then. Um, it's right. magic. So now the cool thing about. I'm random marks on there now. Ah, so the cool thing <laughs> about Ears. glow effects is that you can apply them to other stuff just by painting on that same layer. Okay, or you can mess up. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that looks better. All right, so that's good. That's good. Now, we could go in depth and do more shading, but we're not going to do that. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is to look up. Uh, what do they call the map for Tracer? Let's see, guys. No, well, we don't want to look at forums, guys. We, nope. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, this is perfect. We'll just, we're just gonna click on that. Oops. Just gonna save this image here. Oops. Save that. Oh yeah. <laughs> that looks real good. Real good. You guys. Yeah, you saw the Google remove the view image button. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah. All right, dudes. Here we go. Let's do this. Just gonna, just gonna. It stops people from stealing the backgrounds and stuff, you know. Yeah. If you're determined enough, one day you could. Do it. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, guys. Gotta get <laughs> Big Ben in there, like that. Right, so we do that, and then what we do is we put this over it, and we do kind of a soft, yeah, look at that, just happy little clouds, <laughs> just happy little, oh yeah, look at that, just do this, right, <laughs> do that, and then you just, you just, 
<laughs> what you do is this, right? Now hear me out. You get a filter, right? Blur. And you just Gaussian blur. And you just blur that out. Just a little bit. Happy little cloud. Happy Look at that. Cloud. She just belongs right in there. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. Super great. Cheers, Super love. Great. Cheers. Um, so now, only one thing left to do, guys. Is to delete it. No, I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> delete it. <laughs> Alt F4. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go for a harder brush here. Whoa, too hard. <laughs> And what's today? <laughs> March 4th. Whoops. Guys, we did it, everybody. We did it. <laughs> Look at that. I should have a cloud clapping button. Good. Yeah, that would have been helpful. Commit for my self esteem, maybe a little bit. You wouldn't be able to hear it. That's Shut all up, John. <laughs> Why? We talked about you just dashing my dreams. <laughs> it's not helpful. For anyone. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try something else here, really quick. Let's fix this. Hey, sh shut. <laughs> Use your preview. I am previewing it on her shoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's sexy. <laughs> Now save and post it. Whoop, whoop. All right, guys. What do you guys think? I think this is probably my best Kingdom Hearts mashup ever. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I haven't done a full digital stream like this in a while. Uh, sans background, of course. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you very kindly. Well, I try to be as quick as possible because, you know, John's like Get in the background. Me. I actually have to go work on stuff today, too, so I did have to work quickly. That's why I didn't go into shading and all that stuff, either, because it would take a while. But we did make glowy things, and that's important. Glowy things are cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Tracer. All right, guys, let's see. So can you do, like, a preview thing in Photoshop where you just go full screen? like? Yeah, save it as an image and go full screen. <laughs> you know what? I don't like your tone, John. There you go, guys. You know, everybody does those cool, like, moving, like, we have a low budget, so. Do the Ed, he'll animate it. Welcome, Breeze. Yeah, and then you're just like, cheers, love. And that's the end. And then, boom. You need more RAM, dude. Every time you zoom in, it flashes. <laughs> Shoot. Sound uh, effects. All right, guys. <laughs> well, we really, really appreciate y'all tuning in uh, for another fun episode. Um, yeah, yeah, we do sound effects here at Just Josh Draws. We all. Yeah. <laughs> you are my brother, and I can. Like that. You know, we could do that. So. And now we're sued. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So. <laughs> So we appreciate you all tuning in. As always, you're all awesome audience. Um, we really appreciate your feedback. And just for Breeze, because Breeze was the MVP of comments today. Yeah, no problem. Hey, of course, no problem. Anytime. Breeze, we are going to do Zarya next week. For you, buddy. For you. What was that? It's a heart for you, man. Super kawaii. I felt weird doing that. I won't do that again. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again. And remember, anytime you're struggling with your art, anything like that, just remember, do what I do and just draw. Have a good day. Or Alt F4. <laughs> Bye.